Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Palada Sunazo. Welcome to another talk. Today we are talking about setting boundaries. What does it mean to set boundaries? What are boundaries? For someone who do not understand what I'm talking about, I am talking about the rules and the limits that we set for ourselves in our relationships. Be it friendship, be it family relationship, whatever. The limits and the rules that you set for yourself, how to do things and how to act in things, are called boundaries and my understanding with boundaries is just that when you set your boundaries you when you set your when you set your own boundaries in a relationship or in a friendship whatever you are on uh it means you are just communicating openly your values and you make sure that your values are not compromised and they are not uh violated let's go to the tips and let's go to the tips and the boundaries that you have okay let's first start with the types of boundaries that you have i'm gonna give you five tips of 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 setting your own five boundaries né? then i'm gonna give you five types of boundaries that we have yeah that's well i'm not i'm not gonna stop okay let's go to the boundaries that we can set for ourselves they are five boundary one Personal boundary. It is very important if in personal boundary because Galoku, when you set your personal boundary, you'll be able to acknowledge yourself. And when you know yourself, you'll be able to go around you form your relationship, form your friendship, whatever that you're gonna do. Very important. Personal personal boundary. Number two. It's physical boundary. Physical boundary has to do with your time. It has to do with your body needs and wants. It has to do with your personal space. What do you do? What do you really do with your own time? Where do you go? It has to do with your environment. Uba and all of that. Thirdly, it's sexual boundary. Yes, sexual boundary means that what do you do? Who do you go with in a relationship? Like, who do you choose as your partner? What do you, else do you do? And a sexual bound is very important because it allows you to discuss what is it that you love. You know, I understand that most. What is it that you love? And what is it that you prefer? So that you make sure that you are not being violated sexually in a relationship. Uh, by setting sexual boundaries, you'll be... Uh, setting a tone of how you want to do things sexually. Let's go to another one, which is time and expectations. Time and expectation boundary. It is very important to set this boundary because if you have your own time and expectations, for example, talking about time, if I know that on Monday, I'm going to school from Monday to, to Friday, I'm going to school and Saturday I'm at home. People that are around me should know that on Monday and Friday to Friday, I'll be at school. On Saturday, I'll be shopping maybe or I'll be cooking at home. And on Sunday, I'll be at church. Those are my, um, are my time boundaries. If we're if talking about um, the expectations, if you have expectations as a person and you tell the people that is you communicate your you communicate your boundaries that at um if maybe you are afraid with someone or you are in a relationship with someone tell the person that what are you expecting and sit down with that person and and, and, and discuss your expectations set those boundaries are very important in your life then which one is the like? Oh, the very important one, which is the last one, the fifth one, emotional boundary. How you feel, it has to do with your feelings, how you feel about certain things. Communicate your feelings. Communicate how do you feel when Kubanda, how do you feel when Kushushu and all that? How do you feel when someone asks all of it, it is very important to, to, to acknowledge your emotional boundaries. Those were the five boundaries that is personal, physical, emotional, uh, sexual, and time and expectation boundaries. Let's go straight now to 
the five tips that can help you to set your own healthy boundaries tip number one being uh, pay attention to your needs and re be realistic what do i mean by paying attention to your needs when you want to set your own healthy personal personal boundaries i mean that if you have plans let's say we're going to second semester and you feel like you in the second semester i feel like i can at least be able to pass all my modules be realistic what do i mean by being realistic i mean that if you want to pass all the modules of the second semester you have to study all the all the modules you have to make sure that you write the assignments you have to make sure that you're present when you test even be realistic pay attention to your needs we have different or various needs came to man if when you have done with school and you feel like you have nothing to do for this year and you feel like you know man man can end the learners or man in license don't waste your time on social media don't waste your time and this also don't waste your time before you if you feel like if only you is a that is that is you will uh you will download you will download the app that is k53 app for fundi learners and all of that do that be realistic when you know your needs mm, tip number two communicate communicate dif oh sorry communicate directly yes directly often and clearly that is communicate your boundaries if you have set your own boundaries apa ko wenu okanye apha ndinyako that umna anihlamba izitya angifuna uphazanyiswa angifuna anihlamba izitya kube kukho abantu abangenaye bathathi mark communicate them so that abantu ukuhlala nabo ube ngabi ngathi ngumuntu onoxuko you have set those boundaries for yourself also when if you have done a school you have set yourself boundaries that after school that is after four o'clock go from your school and go five to six o'clock you are doing your homeworks because you go seven and eight if you are in the new generation set your boundaries be right communicate them clearly often because i want to because i want to say that you have boundaries yeah well that's what i mean let's go to tip number three which is define your priorities you know your priorities things that comes first if you want done a scholar what comes first to you is your books is your time with your books that's what comes first if you are an elder or okay, you are an adult you feel like so sevens and all of that what is important to you is your family with your kids and um and how you do that make sure that for whatever that you are doing please do this because it's gonna help you if you are an adult but you have free time do something that you love babes do something that you love if it means going out whatever that you want to do set boundaries for yourself and if you don't want to be pazamistic <laughs> if you don't want to be pazamistic if you don't want anyone to interrupt you i'm sorry if you don't want anyone to interrupt you i'm sorry if you don't want anyone to interrupt you if you don't want anyone to interrupt you if you don't want anyone to interrupt you but today it's myself Sunday in this as a potorosa be right to be right to be cute have you that time for yourself let's go to step number four set your daily limits like in general be intentional of vaccine if you want to have boundaries that are healthy of vaccines as one of them is okay so in open us don't go don't go to a day when I can do it. And when I can tell you, I was bad and all of that. But it is very important to have a diary. Let me know my sis. Have a diary. Write some. Make up a couple of headboard. If I'm not a headboard, cut the chair. Make up a couple of. But I use it to go to a Okay, I'm glad that you have a couple of people. But I'm telling you, it's okay. Then, when I get to the I will give myself time for a break it's very important to a break bona kwa lande best school ni break is that very very important to a break okay kutas i need kutas a bit on and lastly practice self combustion oh yes practice it it is very important what do i mean by being self combustion by self combustion i mean be kind to yourself whatever situation that you're going through ngoku 
But in Islam, you are busy, you are planning whatever that you are planning, but isn't a slang, honey. Be kind to yourself. Understand what the zone is in the zone's going to get pleasure. Oh, how does it look like? You know, okay. Lastly, this is a bonus, or this is an explanation, or this is what I wrote down, which I believe that it is important. Why is it important to set as boundaries? Okay, fine. Says as if boundaries, not as if five. We have these tips to build e -e 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 our own healthy boundaries. Then why it is important to set boundaries? Let's go to this. It is important to set boundaries because it helps you to communicate our needs and desires without any fears. That's why it's important to set boundaries. You live fear like you live fear free on your boundaries and the band that are next to you or people that you are um that are next to you, yeah, will understand you when they understand your your, your boundaries, you will live freely. Also, it will help you to set limits so that no one can take advantage of you or no one can exploit you. If you're watching this video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for my 15 subscribers. Guys, in the Nina, Nina. If you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, please, man, please subscribe. Thank you for watching my channel.